All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Resonant Rise Let's Play. My name is Joel TJ, and we are going to get started today. Now, I did a live stream last night, and that went really, really well. Um, quite a few people dropped in, like uh, Kieran, Dave dropped in for a bit. Uh, Lambert was there for some. It was, it was, it was a good night. Um, I'm probably going to do another one tonight, so be sure to come check out the stream tonight. Probably be starting around midnight GMT because that's when I started last night, and it actually went really well. So in today's episode, we are planning on doing quite a bit now. I did some stuff in the live stream last night. I made myself some osmium armor. I did some dimensional door exploring and I managed to get myself a diamond block, which is pretty cool. But in this episode, I want to do a couple things. I want to show you what I've done with Tinkerous Construct. And that slam is really annoying me. I hate it. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, Creeper exploded there. <laughs> so now last episode, we made ourselves some manulin. Now what I did is I went and made myself a pickaxe and on this pick I gave myself, if we go and have a look here, this pick it has a manulin rod, it has a paper binding and a cobalt uh, like mining head thingy and as you can see it's got 2000 durability which is actually amazing, attack 2 hearts, mining speed 15 and it's got 50 out of 50 redstone on it. Now I haven't put anything else on it but I am planning on putting something else on it right now. Now I found an emerald in the dim uh, dimensional door dungeon last night and I was talking to Lambert and we were like what should we do with this, should we add on a, that doesn't go in there, what am I doing? This goes in here, should I add an emerald on to give 50% durability which will actually, if I show you, I put the emerald in here, this will give me 3000 durability instead of 2000, so you see what that does, it adds 50% of the durability, and it looks pretty cool but not really what I want. Or do I go ahead and make this silky cloth stuff, which is string around a piece of gold, and then make it silk touch? So I'm going to make my pickaxe silk touch. Now this is the ultimate one I've made. This is kind of the ma main mining one, and then this one here is the um, fortune and luck one, which will give, which I'll use on ores and so on. So for this, I am going to have to turn the silky cloth into the emerald here. One piece of silky cloth around it. If I show you the recipe for this quickly, it is. I did not mean to do that. Oh well, silky. It's either a piece of gold, a gold nugget, or an aluminum brass nugget surrounded by string. You need four pieces of this. If I reorganize this, uh, one in. I hate having an unorganized inventory. Right there we go. Right emerald. So we're gonna stick this here, this here, this here, and this here, and that will give us a silky jewel. Just take that out. Right, if we then stick this in the tool bench, add it onto this one here, the Heart of Erebor I called this, which I think is a pretty cool name. Stick the Silky Jewel here. It makes us, it look stupid, but it's going to be really useful. So, wait, does that reduce the mining speed? It does. It reduces the mining speed a lot. Ooh. Do I add it onto this one? Oh, let's have a look. I've got the spare one in here. What is this got on it? This durability is 1600. What do I add on to this one? Do I... Ooh, what do I want to do? I don't have three pickaxes to be fair, but this one's got luck on it, so I want to keep this one. Okay, let's, let's just add on to this one for now. Um, I think we'll live with it on this one. And if not, I can always make another one. I just have to go find some more emeralds. So yeah, let's stick. Boom. And now I have a silk touch pickaxe, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to do, I need to repair it a little bit, so I'm going to stick a few pieces of iron onto this. Hopefully this will repair it. I think this will repair it. No, it won't, because it's made of cobalt, so you need to add... I think then, if it's made of that, if we add cobalt onto this, it will repair it. Yep, there we go. Boom. Now repair that, stick all this back in their right correct places. We now have a silk touch pickaxe which is pretty cool. Now I also have myself here the Flame of the West. Now I'm doing quite a lot of Lord of the Rings style theme here. Um, if you don't know what the Flame of the West is, it's the sword that Elrond the Big Elf gives Aragorn in the last film, uh, Return of the King, which is pretty cool. And what this is, this is a manulin uh, tool rod, a manulin sword blade and a paper binding and I actually stuck seven, uh, 140 quartz on this. And I can actually put some more on that, so I'm going to fit four more quartz into this. So I went in earlier today, I went and 
mined a ton of nether quartz and we added that on to our sword. So let's do this. Boom, there we go. So this is now, this is almost two hit kill most cases. So what I want to work on this episode, now we've got this Silk Touch pickaxe, is the mining. Uh, no, not mining, what am I saying? Machines. So we go hop through this portal, this hops us to that our house there. This just hops us to another house up here, which I blocked off with the door. So that, look at that, one kill and it's dead. Uh, which hops us here, and this is my machine setup so far. So I got some of this done last night in the stream, but the majority of it is down here. We have an aqueous accumulator, you can see down there which is surrounded by three water source blocks, which feeds these steam engines with water. And the steam engines have coal in them, which then gets pumped out into this uh, line, which at the moment just goes into a pulverizer, which then obviously goes straight into the chest. And as you can see, I've got loads of lapis in here, which I'm actually gonna grab now. I'm gonna head here. I got some lapis, nether lapis, which I grinded up and got that. So now we're gonna add this onto our, um, what's it called, our fortune pick. So I think you can still spread this like this, and then it's not spreading completely evenly, but it will do for now. Uh, I think that's, that'll have to do. Yep, there's no more out of that. Right, let's add all this onto our pick here. Lots and lots of lapis. So it's got even more luck, so it gets loads of resources. How much are we on? 172. Boom, we've got 208 lapis on here now, which is quite a lot, so I'm probably going to end up finding loads more lapis in the nether at some point. So that's pretty cool. Right, yeah, so I also made myself an Omni Wrench, which is pretty cool. Let's just clear out any eye quick. So my plan for this episode is to make ourselves a powered furnace, a sawmill, and then some of the other thermal inspection machines. Now, actually, I'm not going to make a sawmill. If we look up uh, thermal expansion, oh, if it will work. Thermal expansion, there we are. Uh, we've got a uh, powered furnace, which we're going to make. Pulverizer I've already got. I'm going to make myself a magma crucible and a liquid transposer. Uh, I've already got most of the stuff. This silic cyclic, is it silic or cyclic assembler? I want to get myself one of them. It's basically a project table from Red Power, which is pretty cool. Energetic infuser is like a charging bench, which is pretty cool. I had to look these items up. I want to get myself some like liquid uh, energized glowstone, some destabilized redstone, and the resonant ender, which is pretty cool stuff. So that's why I want the liquid transposer and magma crucible. So powered furnace requires bricks and copper. Now we have no copper, so we're going to have to go find some copper. But it is night time, so we're going to head back here. We're going to head out, and we're going to go to bed. Hopefully we can sleep. We can. Right, what's asleep? Have a drink. Mm. Right, now I know there's some copper gravel around this area, so I should probably spend some time making a shovel. I've ca I have a shovel. I'll probably get a mattock at some point, but I've just never really been bothered, to be honest. Right, let's find us some gravel. There is some, I believe this is copper. Yep, this is copper. Boom. We need, what, two, four... Two for the powered furnace. Uh, does the liquid transposer requires two? Macro requires two. Okie doke. So we need six copper. And we have two right now. I don't think you can process this, which is kind of annoying. But I don't think this should be that. Is that? And that's iron over there. I think we're going to have to head into the ravine that I found over here. Get some out of the wall. Yeah, I don't think there's any more. Oh, there we go. That's some, I think. Is that some? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Perfect. And this is a decent amount as well, which is pretty lucky. Oh, this is this is tin. This is tin. This is not copper. I should have looked at the tool tip in the top right. Tin. Okay, yeah. Let's head down into the ravine over here. That is iron. That is a skeleton that is going to die. One hit kill. Oh yeah, I love this sword. I'm in love with this sword, it's so good. It's a long sword as well. How would add a boom? I can do this. Whee. And there's a massive world error right in my mind. Um, that's awfully inconvenient. Let's try and work around it though. 
If not, I have to relog, relog the game. Right, let's head down here. There's no, it's there. Right on the edge. I'm trying to get stuck in it. Now I know there's some copper in awkward places, so if we have a look around, I should better find some. There's not any there. I don't know what that is. Not there. That looks really weird. Uh, hmm. There's some. So how should we try and get this? Should we go on the ladder? Yeah. Let's go down the ladder. And we shall then hop across. Oh, do you have any? No, I'll grab some. Ah, oh, smooth stone. Yay. Silk touch for the win. This pickaxe does look a bit derpy though. It does look quite stupid. Alright, where is it? It's around here. Okey dokes. Now, I don't know how much this is going to be, but we can macerate it up into... Well, we can pulverise it up, since we have a pulverise in it. Right, is there any more around here? Not... Uh, key dokes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reload quickly. I should sort out the world hole. Let's hop in here. And boom, better. Right, copper... Ah, oh, look at that, right here. Perfect. I think that's all we need. That's three, so we can pulverize that down to six. Is there any more around here? Oh, yeah, we'll grab a little bit more. Is this spider going to attack me? Yes, he is. Go away. Thank you. Right, let's stick some torches. I'm going to grab quite a bit of copper, actually, because. Ah, oh, some underground. Oh, finally, some underground biome stone. Finally heading out of this area. This is pretty cool stuff. Yeah, we're not going to grab that now because. We're getting the copper, and we'll get distracted. Right, where were we? Oh, yeah, here it is. More there. I love how when I can't find it, it takes me ages to find it, and then when I do find it, it's like there's an abundance of it. Is this two uranium next to each other? That's a first. Silk touch that up. More copper. Wow. Oh, even more. Wow. There's a lot of copper in this area. There's even more. Okay, alright, there we go. Let's head back to my house. And then, once we're back at the house, we can then... I'll pulverize this up, you can see my machine's working pretty cool. Now, it does... It, like, gets powered really quickly, which I was kind of surprised about how quickly it goes. Um, Because, like, I suppose it is three... It's three steam engines powering one machine, so... I think they produce two Minecraft jewels per tick each. The pulverizer uses four Minecraft jewels, so I've got six Minecraft jewels per tick going into a four Minecraft jewel per tick machine. So doing the math, that's so the two Minecraft jewels spare, so that's going to use that to charge it up. So it's going to charge whilst uh, like doing natural stuff, which is pretty cool. Run, forest, run! I need to eat. And then, oh, I found I did some exploring as well. Well, I didn't, didn't do exploring. I died in limbo. Uh, fell out into overworld and then I had to run 2,000 blocks back to my house which the the viewers of the stream made me run and not teleport so that took a while but we did find a village with a couple apiaries and some bees so I'm going to be starting on bees probably off camera like I do in my Omega 3 series and then kind of get them going because they take a while to go okay right we have ourselves I'm going to stick this in here don't want any of this I can all go in there go away String can go in the top one. Is it the top one the string's in? Yep. Alright, got 18. 18, that's pretty decent actually. Alright, let's jump in here. Let's pulverize up. Oh, copper. Is there any copper in here? Uh, osmium, redstone, iron, silver, copper. Like this, see, it goes pretty quickly. And it's running out of power. These have these stopped. Do I need to hit them with a wrench? Hit them with a wrench. Hello. Oh, there you go. God, I hate these slimes so much. There's too many slimes. Right, I only need six for now. Let's go do this. I'll let that run and make them all anyway. Right, so let's grab the other resources. For the for powered furnace, we need some bricks, which means clay. Let's go find some clay. It's going to be fun to find some clay because clay is really, really hard to find. Unless, of course... There is actually a massive crag biome over there, which has got clay in it. But I think there should be some in the ocean. 
slash C slash whatever this pond because it's considering how deep it is. Hopefully there's some. We don't need much. We need eight pieces of clay. Eight pieces. Aha, here we go. Let's stick this in there. Hmm, should be enough. I'll grab some more anyway. Just in case. Oh, up, 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 up. There we go. And let's head back here. Dun da 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 You forget when you're like really, really tired and you just do really, really weird stuff. Because that's what I do all the time. Okay, hopefully I'll cough. Oh wow, I still get stuck in this door. I don't know why. It is really annoying. I might just destroy the door completely. Yep, that's done. Okay, let's smell the clay up. Alright, let's look at this. We need kabooey. Right, we need the, those, so we need these things, and that is the same for these two as well, isn't it? Yep, so we need three pieces of gold, uh, six pieces of redstone. And we need machine frames as well, which I'm going to have to make in a second. Boom. I had a really weird dream last night, and it, it was like, it's one of those dreams where you think, if it was a movie, it would be really good. But that's kind of annoying that it's not a movie, because this makes me sad. I oh, so we need more glass as well, doesn't it? Which means I'll get some more sand. I really should have prepared for this beforehand. Have I got... Oh, sorry, I have one machine frame. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I need... What's that? Uh, this one needs... Which one needs... That needs glass, so we need... Eight, nine, and ten, ten sand. And there's some sand up here, I think. And we, we, we did go scouting for a bit in the live stream to try and find a good place for my house. Now, people are suggesting that I build in the magic forest, but I'm really not a big fan of witches. And I did die in there in the live stream last night, like the forest that's just there. You can kind of see it in the off distance. Um, but build it like kind of an Ewok, like Star Wars type build. I think that would be pretty cool, but I think it would be really hard. So I might, I might do that eventually, but I want to kind of stick with this for now. There's our, all the clay is done. Uh, let's stick the clay in here. Right, bricks. Like so, there we go, we've got two bricks. Right, we need a bucket for one of these, don't we? Bucket for that one, two buckets. And um, where'd I put my netherrack? Oh no, typical. Typical, I've only got one netherrack, are you serious? I swear I grabbed more, yeah I do. All right, two buckets, which means six of that. Once I have these, I can start doing some cool redstone-y stuff. Is this done yet? That's done. One, boom. Right, I believe it's this way around, because I always get this the wrong way around, and it's like, oh. And of course it isn't. I'm always wrong. I can never get this recipe right at all. Like, I don't know if I've ever got this recipe the right way around the first go. Right, come on, one more. Give me some glass. Come along. These blocks look really cool. Shiny block. Shiny. Oh, this is thermal expansion, isn't it? What is that? Is that the illuminator frame? How do you make these? Hardened glass, silver, redstone, nether quartz. Hmm. Have a look at some of this stuff. Stuff. What is this? Magmatic engine. Have they changed the texture for that? They might have. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, all right. glass should be done now. Yep, bingo. Wait for this last piece because then that's going to give me enough resources to make them all the stuff I think. Okay, so that's enough for that. That's enough for that. Yep, this is enough, right? And I've completely forgotten the way it is. It no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's on the app. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get this wrong. I know I'm gonna get this wrong. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. Right, let's make these. So let's make myself the powered furnace. Do I not have enough resource? What do I need on the top? Redstone. Piece of redstone. Like so. Powered furnace. There we go. Powered furnace. Done. Magma crucible. Boom. Done. Liquid transposer. Boom. Done. Wicked. We've now got some badass machines. Let's go settle these up. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm going to have to get 
I'm gonna grab all this. I'm gonna move this chest across one because then we can put the powered furnace next to the pulverizer here. Uh, I don't need that. Chest, powered furnace is here. If I can get it, there we go. I'm gonna unclick all of this. Okay, that needs to be blue. Okay, there we go. Let's stick some of these resources in here. Copper can smelt up in there. Then here we want the magma crucible, then the liquid transposer. And the V's stop running, I need to hit him with a wrench again. Boom, boom, boom. And is this, yep, that's going fine. And all the resources are going straight into the chest, which is pretty cool. Let's put this back in here, because I don't want any of that. Let's stick the clay in there, because I need to smelt that up. Okay, right, I need to sort all this. We don't want any of this. That can go away. That can be like that. Yep, that's good. There. That we don't want that. We want the output to be there though. Okay, right. We need another gold conductive cable thingy. Which I have in this chest, I believe. Yep. Oh, I found a oh if you're wondering, I found a portal gun in one of the dungeons um, I was in, which is pretty cool. Now the magma crucible takes a lot of energy, I believe. Uh, it stores 40,000 microjoules, yeah. It's going to take a while to charge up. Liquid transpose is already done, which is surprising. Pulverizer is done. Powered furnace is losing because it's still trying to power up all the other machines. It's going to take quite a lot to power this up. How much coal? How am I doing for coal? I've run out of coal, so they're going to stop in a sec. I'm going to grab some more coal. And I'm probably going to set up a coke oven off camera because, you know, got to love doing coke. I'm joking, kids. Don't do drugs. It's bad for you. I also installed inventory tweaks, so I can now tweak around that easily. Right. Looks like 16 coal in each of these. Kaboom, kaboom. Now that should keep that going quite well. Is this still chart? Yep. Okay, dakes. Right. I'm going to check the. I'm going to kind of like pause the video for a bit. I'm going to check. Un, would you? Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to pause the video for a bit, check how we're doing for time, and then I'm going to think of some new things we can do if we're not good for time. So I'll be back in a second. Like 22 odd minutes, and I have got some more stuff that I want to do, but it's kind of like an episode's worth. So I'm not going to start that now. I'm going to do that next episode. And so yeah, I'm going to end this off here, guys. Be sure to come check out the live stream tonight. I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, I'll put it on the Google Plus group, so be sure to be go join that. The link will be in the description once again. Be sure to go check out Way of Time's channel, Lambert's channel, and Kieran Day's channel. Their links will all be in the description because they're all doing LPs of Resident Rise as well. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys, and I will see you later.